Hi guys. Hi guys. I'm going to be putting you on the four major uh, transformation that we have. We have the reflection, the rotation, the transition, and the enlargement. But before that, I'd like you, I'd like to take you through the tools that we're going to be using. First of all, we are using GeoGebra. Okay. That's the hub, the graphical tool that we are using. So, if you want to know, I mean, we need to know the tools that we are going to be working with. So, we are here are the basic tools that have been selected, okay, from different, um, you know, um, segments of the tool section. So, we have the arrow there. That's the move tool. We have the point tool. We have the line segment tool. The arrow tool helps us to be able to move our screen move the screen about so once you click it you can move your screen it enables you to be able to move the screen about okay but before then so that we can actually see the effect of what i am doing let's click on the setting uh, button or something so we can just configure the page you can make the axis to show Show your grid. Okay. Let's uh, do point capturing. Let's set the distance, you know, in the axis. Let's set it to one. Okay. Then we can label our axis. You can see x axis x axis i'm able to type that you know once you come here and you click this typing uh, tool where I me mean, will come out this is your keyboard will come out you can change if you want to type figure you can click the one two three to type any figure if you need a function you can click the, you can click the f of x if you need to use alphabet, you can click the ABC. If you need to use um, special characters, you can click that hash, um, the ampersand and the other symbol there. Okay, but for now I need the ABC, so I need to write axis. Okay, then I move to Y and label the Y as Y axis as well. Okay, I need ABC, so I'm going to clean that. So I have X, A, A Y axis okay so we are done with the setting now at least the minimal thing that we need so the next thing like i told you the arrow tool help you to move around to move your screen okay for, for me to see my object tool if you look at the top you can see three lines that makes you to be able to save to open file to share and all that okay then there is this calculator aspect once you click the once you click it it enables you to be able to type in there you know see like what we did in the other time y is equal to two x say uh, plus seven okay you are able to you know it helps you to be able to draw the function of um, the function y which is a function um, of x and you can see the line that it forms just from what we did in the last topic the y intercept is 7 here okay but that's not what we want to do here today so but that's how to use the calculator um, tool there again let's go back let's undo this by clicking the arrow that is the bent arrow to the left or at the top there so once you click it everything that you have done you know you have to redo it so let's do our setting again show the axis show the grid um, okay if you want the distance to set it to one two three you can click on the distance length and i want the interface to be a bit zoomed out so i'm just going to leave it like this the vertical when you moved up and down that is the vertical axis and that is y axis we can label it, we can label our y axis. We can 
sorry we can label our y axis by clicking our set setting button so y axis okay we can do that okay guess it's still not yet done so we can label see like this okay do the same thing to y that's axis okay so we can do our labeling like i said so okay can you see x axis has been labeled if you move also the top you will see the y axis also being labeled but let's not waste time on that it's somewhere being labeled okay so let's move on now we can use the our tools now let's go to the icon that has the circle and triangle together so if you click on it and you click on the arrow it helps you to be able to move your screen be able to move your screen quickly okay okay then you can move your screen about all right so the next thing is to tell us to go through the tools that we need we need the move tool which is the arrow to move our screen about we need the points sometimes we make use of the points okay so once you click it and you touch your grid which is your graph page you have all these points so let's undo them okay then we need a line segment too that helps us to measure the distance between two points okay between two points be able to measure distance between two points so the distance from a to b is, is about um you know the x axis have been calibrated and uh, to move every five five every centimeter for five units okay so that means that the distance from a to b is actually 10 from minus 5 to 0 is 5 and from 0 to positive 5 is another 5 so we have 10 centimeters from a to b so that's what line segment helps us to help us to do we need to know the distance between two points you can undo that then we have ordinary line if you click on ordinary line once you make two points the line will form okay make two points the line will form okay make two points the line will form okay where you put your second point determines how the line will be okay whether it's going to be sloopy you know or you know like that so we can undo that again then the next thing that we're going to be using today is the polygon tool so you can use it to draw any shape just click the points that you need click all the points that you need and go back to the first point that you click to close it up if you like you can make you know several points out of it go back to the original points started with several points can be made let me undo this and do another point again i click the polygon tool if i like i can do a trapezium and do a trapezium okay go back to the origin okay if i like i can still continue it like this Continue it like this, continue like this, and then I have this. You are in control of what you, whatever you choose to do, whatever you choose to do. You are in control. As you touch the lines, you are able to make any line that you want. Okay, so let's keep it simple. So this is a tool. This is how we are going to. Then, then if you click on more, you see other tools. Today we are going to be needing the transform tools, especially for reflection. We, we need the transform tool. We we'll scroll down. Transform tools. Here you have the translate by vector. You have the rotate around points. You have the reflect about points. You have the reflect about a line. You have the dilate from a point, and so on like that. Okay, we are going to be needing that. Some other thing we are also going to be needing is the uh measure 
for instance you want to know the angle between two lines okay and all that so i'm going to pause this video now this one is just a tour around the tools then the next thing i'm going to be doing in the next lesson is how to do your reflection so i'll pause this one now mm, do that